well person starts to ask themselves, should I get a pod or should I get a float room? And there is a difference between the two. What do you think? Well, you know, I'm curious from a popularity standpoint, uh, what kind of inquiries do you get for pods over float rooms? Well, the float room people will lean towards if they have a tendency to have empathy towards a person that has claustrophobia. They'll say, well, in a pod, you're closed in and someone might be claustrophobic. But what we find is when you close yourself into a pod, it's warmer above you so that your belly is 94.1 and your rear end is 94.1 and a person is more apt to be able to relax sooner in that. We have to use an infrared heater in a float room to convince your belly that it's the same temperature mm. as your rear end. Now in your facility, you didn't put glass across in front of your float room. How's that working out? It's working out okay. Um, in hindsight, it would have been nice to have a partition purely for just for people not getting out on the dry side because once that salt gets out of the pool or the shower, it's, it's a nightmare to clean up. Um, from a climate control standpoint, the float rooms are a little warm and people have to grow accustomed to trying to get dressed or preparing to dress in stages. Yeah, I noticed when I got out of the tank, I was pulling my pants on over it's, wet legs. Well, and it's such a delicate balance of hitting that right and, and getting the, the AC and the humidity controlled. One of the things that's been nice about having both pods and open tanks um, is that people feel really strongly about one or the other, what they prefer. And over the last five, 6,000 customers that we've had, it's about a 50-50 split. Half the people love the pods and swear by them, half the people love the open tanks, and there's probably a you know, single digit percentage of people who will do both. Um, but what's been really nice about the open pools is it does allow us to serve people who have fears of claustrophobia, people who are taller than 6'5". Mm -hmm. um, professional sports teams is a big one. Most of them are uncomfortable in a standard size pod because they're larger than average men and women. Um, as well as some people with accessibility challenges, the pool gives you a little more uh, opportunity for their assistants or helpers to get them in and out. I had a lady though that said, I don't want the glass because I don't want to have to clean the glass. Yeah. Now you've got a wall that is along the perimeter of two sides of your tank. Do you find that a customer stands up and then claws their way down the wall trying to get out? You know what? They do. They do. <laughs> they do. Okay. Uh, it's, it's not that common, and we do try to coach our members, our returning uh, customers, on sort of room etiquette. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's kind of like a crime scene when you walk in 15 minutes after somebody's finished floating and the salt has dried, and you can see handprints all over the walls. You can see footprints walking around the tanks. They clearly weren't showering. Um, there's a little bit of that, and that would, that would be my first concern about the cleaning of the glass, but I am certain that that work is going to be less than the cleaning of the floor that they're getting out on the wrong side of. But hasn't it been your experience that warm water kind of cures all ills? So you can yes, always it does, it especially with a little bit of vinegar in it. 